Jews coming up on the side. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. 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 Poison is great. And this must be like um Oh yeah. I'd love to know how you do it. Got me a chicken breast and you you split it, you put the hoisin in and you put it in breadcrumbs. Good morning everyone, English man foodie here. Welcome to Saturday morning's kitchen. You'll be watching it maybe Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday morning kitchen. <laughs> Good news, there's some Iceland new products. Du, 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 du. This is uh, two chicken breast caves, 100% breast. Now, if you go to California, I don't think you'll find 100% breast. Well, that's a bit naughty, Steve. Come on, guys. Let's see what I'm going to tell. I'm going to let you into a bit of a secret as well. Shh, just between you lot. Anyway, today we're going to do this. Let's have a quick shofty first before I show you what I've got here. Uh, preheated. Right then, Steve, let me just check. Have you got that oven on? Is it warmed up? Well done. For the rest of you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tick that little bell for notifications of when Steve uploads new videos because you wouldn't want to miss anything, would you? Talking about missing anything. Uh, yeah, is it switched on? Well done, Steve. And for the fact of it could be worse, you could be married to me. Well, you should be so lucky. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Anne. But I don't know how big it says preheat. A tray, but I don't know how. What's in the box, Steve? Two chicken breast kievs, 100% breast. And what's it got? Oh, hoisin sauce it's got inside it. Served with noodles or a salad. But maybe we're going to just have them raw. And we're going to have all oh, these many ingredients. And no <laughs> how can there be all that many ingredients in a chicken Kiev breast? There must be 30 ingredients. I'm going to put like I normally put it. The grip. And there's nutrition information, fat and all. I'll do that as well. Because, you know, are you going to read this? I have a bash at reading that. Because not even I can read it. 250 grams. I'll put the price like I normally do. It's new. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. Hoisin inside it. That's lovely hoisin. It's like that Chinesey. I, I sometimes cook with that. Well, that's it. That's that's all the blah blah blah. It's new chicken breast, hundred percent. That was a bit of a cheeky one there of California. I'm sorry about that, but I think that's happening all over the world. Iceland, at last we got some new. Remove the packaging. Place. Uh, oh, there's a few in there. Hang on. Hang about. I think that one will do it. We've got. To, let's have a quick look before we put it in. Yeah, that'll do. Let's put that back in. I've got to uh, preheat the vessel. Thanks, Anne. She keeps me on my toes, Anne. Could be worse. Could be married to her. <laughs> you got to have a laugh, eh, guys? Let's get a let's get a chopping board out because one we want to have a a good a good shifty and my wooden one. Anyway, I've got a plastic one because we're going to just have a... Hey, they're decent. 100% chicken breast. Hands are washed before anybody blah, blah, blahs. Brand new. Hoisin. Doesn't say how long you put it in the preheated oven for. Good news, guys. I might be buying some new... Stools, because these are knackered. Might be something to do with the weight that's on top of them, Steve. Well, it could be that as well. Hey, we, we had some good videos. I've got, you wouldn't believe how many videos I've got lined up. Seven, I think, videos lined up in the lineup, and they're all on Patreon. So if you want to go below, 
There's uh, all the links off of my channels and Patreon and Travel Channel and Foodie Channel and English Money Motor Channel. Steve, we're already on the Foodie Channel. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and there it is. Two ki chicken Kievs. I'd, I'd, I'd never heard of oyster inside of a chicken Kiev, but <laughs> there's always a, there was always something new. Remove the packaging, but there was no packaging. Well, you wouldn't put that in the oven, would you? You wouldn't be a plonker. So that's preheated a bit. Let's bung him in. Preheated oven of 200. Thank you, Anne. Anne's from Cornwall. Beautiful country down there. I remember, shall we, shall we tell you a story? Many, many years ago, I was still a lad, and we had, um, we were about eight or nine lads from Birmingham, and we all had minis, because in those days, minis was, was the thing, and I'm a tall bloke, but it, it was okay, I'm actually surprising a mini, I had a mini van for many, many years, why did you have a mini van, Steve? That's another story. Anyway, we all drove down to Cornwall, when there was still the, when it used to end at Exeter, or before, just before Bristol and Exeter, and they were tarmacking all the way down to, to Cornwall. And we used to stop at Newquay, at the same place in Newquay, uh, at the same hotel. We used to like double up or triple up on the rooms. Um, and we got there, we drove all through the night. It used to be, I mean, it's a good eight hours from Birmingham at, at that time, because the old road after Exeter, I think it was just before Bristol and Exeter, and they started tarmacking and that lovely road. I went some years back and they've got a lovely road all the way down now. Cornwall is, Cornwall is a, is a it's, it's just out of this world. I took some friends from, uh, from Malta. I'm English man in Malta, by the way, it's a link below. And they, he stood on the, on the cliffs of St. Ives, I think, or Cornwall, or, or, or uh, Newquay. He said, is this, is this UK? Is this England? It's, I can't believe it. The, you know, the beaches there, St. Ives and Newquay, they're really special. I said, and the blue, blue, blue sea like that, because before I'd take it into Blackpool <laughs> and that's grey, grey, grey. But he said to me, uh, wow, I never imagined this. We stopped it. And I said, I'm going to get, I, I, I was coming over to London and I said, he said, hey, can, can we come over with you? And I said, yeah, why not? I said, I'm going to do a bit of an adventure. We'll stay a week in London and a week in Cornwall. And he said, well, what's Cornwall? I've never heard of Cornwall. I said, it's, you wait. And an extra adventure, we're gonna stay in some caravan and a caravan. And it was, the caravan was so cheap. I think it was just in that day, uh, old Maltese money, 50, 50 a week or something like that for Maltese, something around that sort of thing. He couldn't believe it. It was a seven berth. I was on one end and I was up the other end. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sip of coffee because I did coffee today, guys. I'm, I'm, I've got to get down my stomach. I'm, I'm over the 90 now. 90, 91, 80, nudging 92 kilos. And I was hoping in the summer to go and do some uh, paragliding or parachuting again. And I've got to keep below because I've got to watch the weight. Anyway, we've got that on now, 200, and it's for 27 minutes. We'll see how it goes. 27 minutes, uh, 250 grams, chicken Kievs. Uh, oh, did I tell you to finish the story? Anyway, the story of the, of the boy. <laughs> Steve, your brain. Yeah, it's all right for you lot. I'm, I'm gonna cope with it. We'll move away from the story of going there and the Mortys, but the next one of the lads going down with the, with the, with the vans. Anyway, let's stick to that story. We drove through the night, we got to Nuki, and they said, um, I'm sorry lads, the room's not ready, come back at three o'clock. And we got, we got like hours to wait, so we went on the, on the cliffs of Nuki, and you know, like we'd been driving through the night, we had a few beers, and we all slept on the top there, and when I woke up, God, my side of my face, and I was like in a t-shirt and that, was red. I spent the whole holiday, the, the week, so peeling off in those old days, I used to get red and peel, but now it's not so bad, Malta. Now I get a bit red, but I go brownish and I don't peel. So after so many years here in Malta. Anyway, we'll be back soon, 27 minutes. Whoever thought that we might come back in 30 minutes, 
two Kievs in oysen sauce. So two chicken breasts, Kievs in hoisin. I'll, shh, I'll let you into a bit of a secret. What's coming up soon, but only for you. Don't pass it on to anybody else. Calamari, I've never done it. I was already always interested in doing some calamari and I bought these. There's quite a few, but they're all frozen. So I can take one or two out to do it. Stuffed calamari. Now I want you, I want a bit of help from you. It's squid tubes, but they call it calamari here. I think it's the same name, eh? Uh, what should I put inside it? Shall I do like a tuna, a Mediterranean seafood sort of twist or a curry twist? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I picked up these Young's Chip Shops. I've had something similar, but it's Britain's favorite. He said four large, four large fillets in our crispy, bubbly batter. Large ones. Treat the family to authentic taste of chips at home. Well, we can't get much fish and chips here. So I thought I'll have a go at that. There's something coming up. I saw this one. They're all from Iceland, these. So uh, grilled house. I don't, it's not an Iceland product, even that's an, but they they seem to be branching out. Even that's not an Iceland product, but I, Miracle Foods, if you're ever in Malta, they're a frozen company like Iceland and they do loads and loads of different things. The only thing, Iceland, if you're watching, the, the CEO of Iceland, you stop the pork pies, frozen pork pies. Listen, there, were, there wasn't like Malton Mowbrays. And even I've had Melton Mowbrays lately from Sainsbury's. They're not the same, they've got too much um, filling, too much breadcrumbs in them, Not you can't taste the meat. So even CEO of, Ch of Sainsbury's, if you're watching, do something about your pork pies. Anyway, grill house, four chicken shish kebabs with yogurt and mint sauce and a mango chutney. That sounds interesting. And back to Iceland, which is brand new, a sweet chili sauce, chicken thighs, bites. And it's new as well. <laughs> anyway, that's been about, it's up, getting up to uh, almost 20 minutes. So we're not far away. We'll be back to you soon, guys. And we're gonna try these two chicken Kievs with hoisin sauce. This is my island in the sun. clock over there I don't like it right on the edge oh I, I don't mind but I was like even now look at this wow look at this this cactus just in the middle of nowhere isn't that beautiful it's been about I forgot to time it but it's been over 30 minutes so we're gonna have a quick look at it Steve, does that mean you're not gonna drink any beer or wine? Yeah, I've got it. Oh. <clears throat> well, maybe just a... Uh, does this ever happen to you guys? I want to write to this uh, company, La Torre, Maltese wine, but it always comes like half a bottle. I mean, you pay decent money, for a high class wine, I mean, I think it was like uh, over three euros, you know. Chin chin, cabinet everyone. <sighs> it's a delicate little grape from the north side of Emdina. We're doing all sorts of grapes here, you know. Uh, Merlot, Cabinet Savon, uh, Chardonnays. They're growing a lot and they're doing them a lot down Marsh. Have you, anybody ever go down to Marsha Slock? When you turn into Marsha Slock, probably you go in a coach, I don't know if you go on the bus or anything. Have a look on the left hand side and on the right, there's miles of uh, grapes, of uh, what do you call it, vines there. Anyway, this less blah 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 about wine. You didn't see this, guys, we'll put it on one side. 
I'm not supposed to be drinking. It smells fantastic. It's sizzling away. I just thought about it now. I, um, I, I might as well, I might have kept the one frozen. Never mind, I might have it later on tonight. Let's put that on one side. There it is. I'll give you a better look. This is red hot. <laughs> and I didn't have my Paris gloves with me. I bought some lights. I bought some things from London and from Paris. And even this is, look how nice this. It's a uh, heat proof from Paris. It wasn't very expensive. I bought it, I bought it by the Notre Dame. Hey, there's a few videos there coming up now. I had a few, I had a few copyright problems. That's why they've been a bit delayed for, uh, I sorted them out though. So there'll be a few more videos on Englishman travel. Link below, Englishman in Malta. I do walking around this beautiful island. Englishman jokes. If you wanna have, if you want, and if you wanna help me, go over to Englishman jokes, subscribe, put a, uh, put a joke in the comments and I'll give you a shout out. I only have about, I think about 140 subscribers. So I could do with some Englishman jokes. Links are all below. Anyway, we're gonna try some chicken Kiev with hoisin sauce. Oh, no, that's surprising. I should have used a flat plate. So it would have been would have been nicer for the uh, for the video. But what do you think about that? Should we do a quick photograph? I know Steve, we're paying good money here to see you cooking. Not oh, it's only leaked out from one side. Not you take photographs. That's a nice one, let's get, let's get a close up. So chicken, 100% breasts. Chicken Kievs, 100% uh, chicken breast. Iceland's brand new project, new. I'm, gonna, oh, I'm just blah, 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 until it cools down a bit. Because I know you like laughing your socks off when you see me suffering, but there's a lot of juice coming. Look at that. Look at that juice coming up from the side. Mmm, I love hoisin. Hoisin is great. And this must be like. Um... Oh, yeah. I'd love to know how you do this. Probably a chicken breast, and you, you split it, and you put the hoisin, and then you put it in breadcrumbs. Mm. 100% chicken breast, brand new from Iceland. It's got that lovely taste of hoisin. Hoisin, if you get a chance, guys. Even hoisin, black bean, plum sauce. I forget the other ones. Some great, and you don't have to do Chinese. Get a chicken, chop it up, put it in the hoisin, put a few of those Chinese vegetables with it. Wow, it's a quick meal. Then you can do some noodles or some rice or something like that. That's really good, look at that. And it's crunchy. I've been looking for a, a nice plate to do some videoing in. 20 quid for a plate. <laughs> this is succulent chicken, 100% with a lovely sauce. Mm, look at that. Oh God. It's so hot. You know what would be nice? A bit of ham in there. 
or some bacon. I might have a go at that doing myself. So I'll get a chicken breast. Anybody ever tried it, Kia? <coughs> How do you hold the sauce in them? They look like they haven't cut all the way through. They've made a slit somewhere and then probably injected the liquid in so it doesn't come out. I'll have to look into that, how you do it. Would be nice with a bit of bacon. Look at the chicken. Yeah, you can't put this. I think it was about three, three euros something. I'll put the price down now. I love that mixture, chicken and hoisin. It's quite big, eh? If you mixed it with some rice, noodles, put the noodles, put some veg in with the noodles, those Chinese veg. It'd make a nice meal there. Well finished guys, two chicken kievs, 100% chicken breasts from Iceland, brand new.